Come Just there to look around the gardens and the zoo. Right then, so the admission ticket is a standard price, it's £11.50 and it covers everything. Okay. So it covers the hall as well if okay. you decide you want to go and Alright, lovely, thank yeah. you. Get me oh. I'll hold that for me. There we go. Thank so, you. There we go. There we go. That's £23 altogether then, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. There we go, it should pop up on the screen. Thank you. Have you been into the grounds before? Yes. Yeah. So you know your way around. We do, do. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. So you will see in the top ones your admission ticket. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very Stop. much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> is that uh, is that front screen lit up? No. Ah, it's good. Because it is recording. It's not okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Got a baby. Don't get a llama. Can't really see it from here, but there's some llamas and donkeys across there. We might be able to see them more. Let's look across here. Now this is wild garlic. All this here is wild garlic. We've got some growing in our garden. But we've never harvested it yet. We're supposed to be able to eat it, but I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. Right. Anyway, let's carry on. Oh, they look quite nice. Those, those flowers down there. No, they look quite nice. No. The leaves look very familiar. You can smell the garlic now. Oh yeah, it's very pungent, isn't it? So, did he say it was unknown? <laughs> yeah. The unknown statue. Oh, quite delicate pink flowers, aren't they? I'm assuming they're pink. I've got my sunglasses on. There's some more carvings, look. Oh, yeah. Are these new, these carvings? Yeah. Are they? Yeah, they look new. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. And a window. Fairy doll, fairy door, and a window. Uh. Yeah, let's carry on before. It says, discover the magic of the bluebell wood. How many doors can you find? There you are. Lovely little bluebells. A few over there, too. Yeah, it's the first time we've been when it's uh, yeah. nice weather. It's always been freezing cold and nothing's been in bloom. And when we're out to come and we don't. Yeah, we don't, don't normally pay either when we come. But we've had to pay this time. Yeah, there's a few little bluebells. See if I can zoom in. Try and get the camera to pan down to where the bluebells are. Oh. Getting used to that uh, <coughs> Pocket 3 camera. Rather than using the joystick to control the zoom, I just slide my finger up and down on the screen. Oh. 
What's that? Donkey brain, can you wear it? Oh. <laughs> Oh, I've gone a bit deaf in that here. Yeah. So oh, here we go. Walking up now to the main, this is Suaby Hall here. You really can't on that tree. Oh yeah, carved into the uh, Not the camera then, there you go. Unicorn in that carving. Oh look, they're repairing the clock tower. We'll be going back in there when we're on our way back out. Going to the clock tower. Big archway here. Right, go and have a look, see what's in the window of the shop. Not going to go in, we'll go on the way back. Oh, it's more, it's not a uh, souvenir shop, it's just a takeaway food shop. Yeah, so let's carry on. Watch your blood sugar. So here we are going into the zoo. For the first time in over 10 years. Yeah. Don't remember all these birds. Don't say what it is, that one. Yeah, I think there was some confusion between. Oh, I don't say. Is that it up there? A diamond dove? Is it a diamond dove? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Not a Java sparrow. <coughs> what have we got over here? So, um, if you're having to come in on Saturdays, it's going to be up 50 o'clock. Huh? Well, they're big parrots, aren't they? Yeah. And if they're only going to be two days, oh, well, they will be in a room for yeah. ages. Yeah. Can't really see much through the very thick wire uh, fencing. So, if, if they can come across Saturday, that would be fantastic. So, let's go over here. Hoofed animals. Hoof mammals it says. You get the pigs in here, yeah. Oh there's the pigs. Right, there we go. This is some pigs. A pair of pigs. Or should I say a brace of pigs? Mm, good eating these.
but this is always the best place to see them in a zoo. Here we go, we've got two more, two more very big pigs here, getting comfy, laying down in the cool. See if I can zoom in, oh, turn around. See if I can zoom in instead of turning around. There we go. Can we see them now? There we go, that's better, isn't it? Two very big pigs. It's called a QQ pig. QQ pig? Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-
pheasant type creatures and some two llamas that were right at the back of the cage because this small camera you can't see very much so it looks like we've got donkeys and llamas in here let's turn you around so you can see them there we go Go back over to this side where the lady Sarah is uh, trying to attract the, the attention of a donkey. Our garden's too small to have an animal like that, but she'd love to have a donkey. Well, I don't think it wants to go and see you, Sarah. I think it's more... <laughs> it must be something interesting on that bobbin. Let's walk around the corner and have a look. A nice pheasant down there. We'll have a look at that later. Hello, donkey. Look. That's it, he's had enough. That'll do me, he says. Wonder what they think of us. These strange creatures. Yeah, these strange humans. Look at that stupid woman going. Yeah. Right, let's turn around. Helen? No. Oh. Baby goat coming, oh okay, let's see. Baby, right. baby, baby goat. Oh, you're, you're kidding me. <laughs> Here then. Come on then. Come on. They all seem to like that first. Mm. They must put food up there. Yep. There isn't any today. No, the bobbing piece. Come on then. Come on, you're having a scratch. Yeah, it's having a scratch. Come on. All the food's gone. One minute. Oh. Okay. Oh, I've got a bill. We had a bit of live action there from huh? the the donkey rolling around on oh, the mud. And, uh, yeah, it must be quite boring for these creatures because they would normally spend all day eating, literally all day eating. Uh, and of course, there's nothing for them to eat. They get all their food dumped in one go. Probably what would make them more excited is uh, if you put a lion inside or a tiger. I mean, they'd only eat one goat at a time. I mean, it's not like you get through a load of goats in once. But uh, yeah, that would keep them more animated, wouldn't it? Do you want to go through that bit? Yeah, we'll go through there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get that from the other side. Go on then, should we go? Oh, 
we're just going into the enclosure now through the uh, airlocks. ducks gone underneath the bridge Hold on, just turn around and have a look. Okay. Oh, he has got two legs, but they're very long. Oh, yes, look, we got the one legged stock. <laughs> Go on, off it. He has got two. <laughs> no, he hasn't got a foot to stand on. No, no, he has got a foot to stand on. Right. Let's go over here. We trim the camera. I might as well keep it pointing downwards. There's some nice ducks. I don't know what kind of ducks they are. Quite a few of them over there. Aren't ducks that quack. Ducks that quack. Yeah. Oh, they're quackers. This lot. Oh look, there's a nice one there. Look. Oh, oh it's gone. Didn't like me pointing the camera at it. Mm -hmm. oh. Camera moved rather quickly then. Mhm. Mm Go on then. Pretend we're throwing food. <laughs> yeah. That golden fence really nice. It's got like a helmet on when it looks like your face on. Oh yeah, yeah. It's got a helmet on. They're very colourful. Look at that one with a speckle. Spotted yeah. Pretty. Yeah. It is. Let's try and get a really pretty, times it? two, shall we? They're tall and ducks now as well. Yeah. They're what they are. Running ducks. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along. <laughs> right, let's carry on. Yeah, well, the back there, but it's a mandarin duck. Yeah. Yeah. Really pretty. Look at that one. Underneath, sorry. Underneath there, uh, it's digging away. That's <laughs> good. Topple over its house, but it keeps on digging. Its little house is going to fall over if it keeps digging that uh, post out. But there's a nice few ducks there in the background. Up against the fence with a nice bright red nose. See the one there with the spots on its chest? Yeah. Out there? Yeah, they're pretty little ducks. I don't know what they are. Really don't know what they are. Oh. Right, yeah. Where's that silk bird? It's a golden one. Nothing up this end. Oh, the golden pheasants shifted up here. Looks like it's got a helmet on. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? 
should not be in there. It's her. There they are. That's that thing. It's the mile on the back. Oh yeah, there's a couple over there, camouflaged against the, the background. That bear's really pretty. It is, isn't it? The, the turquoise underneath hmm? its helmet. What's around this way? Yeah. Let's go back that way now. Oh, is it? Where's the penguins? I don't know where they are. I'm still busy. Quick bark. Eh? 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 I don't know what that way is. Hmm? I don't know what that way is. It's very thin. So that was the enclosure. We'll come back down to another pen. Oh, these are much bigger. Oh yeah, what are these called? Cotis. Yeah, Cotis. Well, I don't know where the penguins have gone. They used to be here. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> See if we can get you to zoom in. There we go, right on top of there, not very... Do I get closer? Arms aren't long enough. Trying to get really close to the fence there. Oh. But it's uh, carnivorous. The Curti snout is long, extremely flexible and somewhat pig-like. And it can be rotated up to 60 degrees in any direction. Oh. Don't know. Yeah. Well, there's nothing in there. Yeah. We can't go round that way because it's fenced off, so we've got to go back up the top. Yeah. So, there's nothing in those uh, stables back there, so we're going to go back up this little bit of a slope. <clears throat> Absolutely loads of this wild garlic everywhere.
I suppose after a while you get used to the uh, the aroma of uh, Here we go, Sarah's found her friend. Oh, turned it right round. Yeah, Sarah's found a friend. Hello. Comes another one. Harold and Henrietta. Well, one of them's called William. Or Billy. Henry and Henrietta. Have you? Don't be fighting. Oi. Oi. That's that's told them. No, fighting. I want Here's some more goats and llamas. Or are they alpacas? We don't know. Yeah. Turn them into jumpers. They are a little bit of llama action. <laughs> Can you get right over? Hello. Hello, mate. Need more to eat, don't they? Yeah, they do. But I think if you feed them too much, they'll just get fat and they won't, uh, they won't, they won't be good for them, won't be healthy for them. Having a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, did he spit? All right, here we go. Right, we're on our way to the penguins. I do remember seeing them when I first came up here, how rough their beaks were. Never having seen a penguin up close before, I always assumed that their beaks would be smooth, but they're not, they're incredibly rough. Well, what's in here? There's not much signage about, is there, to say what the animals are? And there's a penguin right over there. Is there? Oh yes. Let's get the camera to come round this way. Where we'll see the penguins. Go there, then, yeah, you will. Yeah, they've got little houses, haven't they? Here he comes again. Hello mate. There's another one there. Is it? There we go. Hello mate. 
<laughs> right, let's see if we can get down. Hello. Hello. Wow, that's the penguins. Yeah, not much. Probably do with a bit more water so we can go for a swim. Yeah. Well, she's a bit like... well, one of my boats could bring a load of fish up. Fish and throw them in the pond for the for the penguins to swim in, but they swim in salt water, not fresh, so anyway, let's carry on. Oh, they are filling it slowly, slowly. Oh, hose pipe that's going to take about 75 years to fill that. But that's uh, not much here. Where are they hidden? Oh. There we go, there's a penguin right down there. So why don't uh, polar bears eat penguins? Because <laughs> they can't get their wrappers off. Yeah, it'd be nice if that pool, pond was full and they were swimming about. What's uh, We can visit the Lady Sarah over this way. Ah, pigsties. This is where more more piggies are. Oh, well. yeah. Let's go over this way. Right, there we go. There's a little pig in a pigsty. So he's got room to roam all around over here. So he's got all that pen to run around in. But he's asleep in this one. Must be happy to be a pig, eh? A monkey, nice bit. Monkey down there, look. Huh? Alright. Yeah. So in this cage here we've got some brown pale fronted capuchin monkeys. He's uh, he didn't know whether he wants to be in there, so he's on the fence. Picking stuff off his tail. Must be bored. Hello mate, you're bored. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello. Got an itchy tail. No feeding it says. <clears throat> yep. Got a few scratches. Few itches to scratch. Right, Another so what we've got here, we, over this side, Sarah said so we had a what? A, a raccoon dog. Right. No, I don't know either. Hiding. 
smelly. Yeah, it does smell a bit, doesn't it? it stinks, actually. I don't know whether it's in its house or it's in the in one of its other houses over there. But uh, they but certainly know how like to hide. Oh, well, there it goes. That's what it looks like. Coon dog. Don't know where it is. So there we go. Oh, right, a giant hoverfly. Oh, it's a baby. <sighs> so here we go. We've got some ostrich. Sarah's desperate for them to come over. Yeah. <laughs> but I bet if they did come over, she'd freak out, <laughs> wouldn't you? I wouldn't. I'd just step back. <laughs> so we look over this way. They've got quite a large pen, haven't they? Yeah. Let's try and zoom in again. So we should be on times two. Yeah, there's a bit of a, they've got a bit of a pond over there that they can go in, right down the bottom of the slope here, where there's some mallards sat there. But the, all the ostriches seem to like to come up here. There they are. Oh, they're glorious. Are these, um, are these emus or are they ostriches? Or are they rears? You can get one called rear. As yeah, well. the rears have got crests on their heads, haven't they? Aren't they? I think so. We'll have to have a look. Have a look. When we get back. The ostrich is the big black ones. Black, yeah, with black and white uh, wings, isn't it? Well, wings, bird, is it? Apart from my mum. What? <laughs> Your mum doesn't like ostriches. <laughs> um, the emus are not, and rears look very much. You might tell me. Yeah. Have a look. Right, let's carry on. Have a look at Rears, okay, they're rears. So they haven't got the crest on their head. Now there are some that do have a crest on their head and they're quite vicious, but these are quite, let me see. There we go, there. <laughs> As a camera shelter there. So these are quite nice, aren't they? They don't look vicious creatures. Oh, Try that again. They swallow pebbles to help digest through food. Yes, they do. Now I knew that. I just remember as I read it then. Yeah, all, all birds uh, swallow pebbles to help digest, grind up the food in their gizzards. Okay. It looks like they've, uh, they're expanding the zoo by the looks of it. Yeah. As we can see right over in the distance, obviously there's a... Where's my finger gone? There, there's my finger. Right over there is is a fence that bit off and all this bit here looks like it's going to be uh, new so that'll be quite exciting to come and see that i think it needs expanding it does the areas need to be bigger yeah animals. yeah they do need to uh, improve things the the gift shop has got a few things in it but not not what i would call um anything to to remember to uh, remember this place by. Anyway, let's turn you off and uh, we'll start resuming when we get to the gardens. It's funny how they've uh, <coughs> taken the seats away from outside the toilet so waiting husbands and wives haven't got anywhere to sit. There we go, penguins. I think these are Humboldt penguins, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Humboldt penguins. It says. Yeah, it does. The jackass penguin, they make sounds like a donkey.
So there's the penguins. It's just the one. These are Humboldt penguins, by the way. Yeah, you just see two more over that way. Hiding. There comes one. Waiting for their pool to fill up. It's only being filled up by a hose. There's two water flows. Yeah, two water flows over there. Go on, mate, you off it. He's off. Right. Yep, we go for a go find a place to sit and have a drink and a bite to eat. <laughs> Look, found a friend on the way out. Hello, mate. These are the kind of things you can buy from the pet shop. Yeah. yeah, nice blue budgie. Anyway, let's carry on. Well, they're all hiding from you in the house. They saw your face and went, nope. Hmm? Oh, guinea pigs. Oh, that's what's in there. Didn't see the tortoise. Toys in the background. Lots of noisy birds. So we're back at the entrance now, so we're just about to go off. Find a nice uh, bench. See the yeah, right at the back there. Where is it? Right, tortoise, right at the back. Can you see it? <laughs> see it yeah. Yeah. There's, one, there's two there as well. Yeah. I didn't see them before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember it's pretty. Yeah. The little green one sat in the tree. Yep, I see them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that one? Yeah. Look, that one there. Focusing on there. Oh, that, that one, look. That one. <laughs> it's two. Oh, it's gone. The, the grey one there. Oh. They're pretty, aren't mm. they? Well, that's us. We've done the done this little tiny zoo here at Suaby, and we're just about to exit. We're going to go off and get something to, something to eat. Have our picnic on a bench. Here we go through the exit.
So that was the zoo. Not a lot to see really, but you pay £12 to come in. Was it £11.50 each to come in? So you might as well walk around the zoo. And here we are into the into the main gardens now. There's a right round to our right there is a golf course, one of these uh, things that you pay a few pennies for and you hit a ball around the golf course. Not quite crazy golf, but uh, <coughs> it's like a putting green. Oh, what's this? Oh, they've got a, uh, that's rather good. They've put out a picnic area under shade now. That's rather nice. And they've got um, blackboards for the kids to draw. Oh, good there. <clears throat> Here we are, back round to a putting green. Two pounds. Please return all balls and clubs to the kiosk. Thank you. There we go. So. But the games for the kids as well. Yeah. Hello? We could go and sit under there, yeah. So we'll go down and we'll sit and uh, relax under here. Lots of uh, want to sit at the picnic table. Yeah. Sit at the picnic table. It's not got. Looks a bit cleaner. Yeah. Well, that's us well fed. Uh, with our picnic <clears throat> and our drink. So we're just going to go around and have a look at this part of the garden. So I've taken the 4D gimbal off and i put my selfie stick on so I can try and get some cinematic footage using the extendable selfie stick. So here we are. We just um, need to show you over there really because we don't normally come here when the when the weather's so nice, it's normally winter time, and of course we can't come around with the dog. So uh, this is now something new. So I'm just going to turn you around and show you. There we go. Right over there is a lovely tree with lots of pink cherry blossom on. And we don't normally come and see that. So anyway, let's carry on. There's uh, the lady Sarah over there. Say hello, Sarah. Hello Sarah, she said. So oh, here we go. It wasn't snowdrops, it's daisies. Daisies? Oh look at these. It's a whole field of daisies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sarah says there's some grape hyacinths over there, so we'll have a We'll go and have a look. Uh, let's bring it back up. Oh, and you can see this is uh, there's lots and lots of these monkey puzzle trees here. Some of them are really, really tall, as you can see over there. It's uh, a. I zoom out. There we go. Some of those are really tall monkey puzzle trees. You don't often see these anywhere else. So let's go for a close up, shall monkey we? Puzzles trees grow where the air is pure. Do they? All right. Yeah, you won't. You won't believe how close we are to the sea here. Yeah, well, uh, there we go. That's a monkey puzzle tree, real close up shot. Thank you. 
sounds like where that's right. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was a couple of years ago, one of them actually blew down. Yeah. Yeah. Where that little one is there. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, I think it blew. I think it blew down. I'm going to the gang go through the buddy area. Yep, yeah. Oh yeah, this one is it magnolia? No, it's a it's a rhododendron tree. Is it a rhododendron tree? I think it is a rhododendron. Oh. But um, it's got all the buds on it. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Oh, they're too big for forget me not. I oh, know they are. They're massive, aren't they? Um, is that the St John's Wharf? I can't remember. Now. Yeah. All the buds on that tree. Yeah. I can't remember it. The uh, <laughs> selfie stick is so long, it's actually amplifying the, the trembling in my hand. Yeah. What's the time now? Ten past two. How much? Ten past two. Ten past two. Right, okay. When we get to uh, twenty past two, we'll turn around and go back. So we've got an hour at, at the coffee shop. <laughs> Mind you, we'll probably be allowed to stay past half past three. I think it's last orders at half past three. Well, that's all right, yeah. <clears throat> this was uh, covered in uh, uh, what was kind of a growth, wasn't it, before? Yeah.
Right. No panic, come in. Hello? Don't look up for a long time. What's that? All the birds singing. Yeah. We usually come here and don't hear anything. Because the birds are just gone out there. Yeah. It's nice to hear them singing. <clears throat> Sarah's just remarked how nice it is to hear all the birds. Yeah, because normally in the winter. There's not many birds, is there? These lovely blue flowers, I don't know what these are called. I don't know, the ones that were in the... when we came in. Yeah. Well, I don't know what they are. I'll have to... I'm sure we've got something like that in our garden. Have we? I think They're not Michaelmas stages, are they? Something else. Mm -hmm. Oh well, carry on. What's that? Uh, yes. No, you loser. False. Oh, well, I never. There you go. Yeah, it's starting to rot in it. At the base. There's actually a street in Hull yeah. where she's this woman who's in this Jackie. You can see down lots of trees down this road, this street. down this road, this street. have all got carvings on from her. Oh, they? All right. Yeah, and I never know what you know, it says, what avenues her area. I can never remember which, which one it is. Uh -huh. Is it? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Well, they're so they're, they're the colours very just very match nice. the mud. Of course, it's being chased by a squirrel. <laughs> Hello, little mate. Hello. Come on then. Oh no. Come on. No, you don't want to play with us. Uh, he said. Mhm. Mm yep. So why is that not recording? Uh huh. Recording. That's because the battery's run out. Right. Okay, I need to change that battery. Can you can you get that battery out that top yeah, pocket? That top one. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. Is it in there? Eh? No. Right. It's in that pocket. It's right, it's very very front. Towards you, one, yeah, the, you the small can. pocket. No, no, small <laughs> pocket. <laughs> right of the box, yeah, bottom of the grey, soft grey pouch. That's it. Top. Is it back in the same pocket? Yes, please. There we go. 
Now I've got battery, now I can get sound. Yeah, we've just been filming that <clears throat> naughty squirrel, but the, the battery on the gimbal had run out, the secondary battery would run out, so the microphone doesn't work when that happens. I should really have put the uh, wireless mic on, but I didn't, because I'm naughty. It's nice to see all the green out, because this time next week... Now that's a bluebell, isn't it? Let's try and see if we can get a bluebell. There's the path, there's a path, there's a bluebell. That nice little bluebell. Try not to bounce up and down. It's much easier with that 4D gimbal uh, device. Scotty makes stuff. <coughs> so it seems like we're in a bit of a hurry. That's because the coffee shop is going to shut in about an hour. We want to get there before they shut. So we can get a cup of, cup of coffee and a slice of cake. Almond and raspberry. Almond and raspberry. It's not safe, but I'll cook on it. Alright. Right, let's save, save the batteries a bit and wait till we get to the wall garden, which is just where those people are. Oh, a bluebell. What's that okay. pink thing? I don't know if we've got some white mm -hmm. as well in the middle. Mm -hmm. Sounds deaf, but I think you can get white bluebells. I think you can, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Here we are at the wall of the garden. So we haven't got long before the coffee shop shuts, so we better hurry up. What are they called? They're primulas. Cat? Primulas. Primulas. Oh, we see all these when I'm out cycling. We see lots of yellow ones all along the, the cycle route in down to Hornsey. I haven't done that route for a long time. Look at them, oh, yeah, look. We'll, we'll go and have a look at those. So let's bring you this way. And we'll show you all these nice bright flowers. Let's extend you out. Yeah, a bee, was there? Eh? Can you hear a bee? Yeah, 
Two dead ones need dead heading. So we're going to cross the path and look at these bright pink things here. I don't know, I don't know what they are, but a nice bright pink colour. They're going to go on for miles. I can smell something. What are those? Hmm. Let's turn around to this part, see what we've got over here. Nice bright red colours. Lovely. Oh look at those purple ones. Oh look at that. <laughs> let's, let's see what we've got over there. So come down there. Oh all those nice purple ones. Just along there. Yeah, let's go down here. This looks really nice, doesn't it? Along here. Look at these nice bright flowers. Reds, whites, purples, yellows. <laughs> that noise you can hear is a fish down there. Do you see it just there? Go right down there it is. Trying to come out, <laughs> trying to come out of the water. Must be something it likes eating in there. Oh. Flowers. And if we look over there, we we'll see a few more. Yeah. Huh? Still over here. Yeah. 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 That fish is really trying to get into those uh, uh, plants there. Oh well. Not seen one like. Not seen a fish do that before. What are these? Oh no. Forget me lots, but forget lots of general Yeah, they are. Get pink one. I, don't well, I don't know. How strange. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've got time. Yeah, just quickly. Leg it. Eh? Oh, we'll see. If there's not, we'll come out. Yeah, 
That's really nice here. Suerby Garden. That's Suerby. Which is near Bridlington, of course. So we're going to go into the Rose Garden now. There's a lovely statue in here. Into the oh, look at those, they're bright yellow, aren't they? Let's have a look at these, they're nice, bright yellow, aren't they? Julie. Yeah, there's some red ones over there. The only flower that grows, still grows when you cut it, is it? Oh. Julie, yeah. Twisted, there's a nice red one there without getting in my without getting the shadow in the way. See if I can get close. There we go. Tulips. Oh, we've got roses. Are these roses? They no, they don't look like roses. I don't know what they are. I don't know. I don't know. They're um, peonies. Peonies, are they? Is yeah. Sure it's yeah, we'll come back. We'll come back when the roses are out. Yep. One of the things I noticed on the way up here was the, the fact that the daffodils are beginning to die off. They're starting to lose their uh, vivid colours. But making way for the next one. Grape hyacinths, I think these are. And not bluebells in there. A look down. But yes, yeah, so we're here we've got this nice painted lady. Let's see what we can do with that. Oh yeah. We've got them in our garden. Yeah, we are. In the tub. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I thought it was just a scrub bag. Sort of. Hmm. Nice, yeah. co nice colour these ones, aren't they? Same as ours, aren't they? Yeah, they are the same as ours. Ours aren't so tall though, are they? Because these are, these are really tall off the path. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like it's growing like a tree. We just thought they thought because they were in tubs, I suppose. Down the garden centre, and they're just small, in there, and they're tubs. But here we are. So that was the end, quick end of the rose garden. There wasn't many roses to see, but I always I like this part of the garden when you're walking down this cravey paved path with all the different. Look, 
Look there, what's that? This tiny, tiny little flower off that tree there. Yeah. I think it's that one. Yeah. Do you think? Mm -hmm. Squirrel. And giraffe. Oh, no, it's not a giraffe, <laughs> it's human. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're coming up. There we go, see if we can get it in focus. It's a holly flower. Well, I never. Didn't know they flowered. No, I didn't know they flowered. Oh. Huh? Well, I suppose they must have if they've got berries. Berries will have the seeds in, so they must have flowered. Well, I don't know. What kind of... Oh, it smells a bit. Like what are these? I know that one too. Is this a, a Japanese paper tree or something, this one? With these huge, great leaves. Look at the size of it. How big that one is. Yeah. How big that one is. Yeah. Massive You're leaves, aren't they? You're the plates on, but they're not putting them. No. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Onwards. I think a coffee shop's calling. Run, Forrest, run. Some more of these little flowers. I don't know what they are. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. The one oh, there's the one lonely daffodil. If we can get it in. There it is. Okay. Right, let's carry on. It's a really nice plant. It's just a shame we can't grow anything in our garden. More tulips. Our tulips got eaten by the slugs. I think, I think bluebells. Yeah, we've got slug pellets now. Pink bluebells. Let's have a look at these. Look at the ferns that are growing as well. Mm -hmm. Look how strong they are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can't, you know, yeah. our soil's so yeah. bad we can't grow ferns. I think we've seen this one before. What's this one? This is um, some kind of a... Uh, might be like a uh, black currant tree or something. Uh -huh. It looks very much similar. Yeah. Similar to what Mum's got another lot from. I don't know, they're quite similar. nice. I'm sure it is. Mm. Oh, steady on. Sarah's taken a tumble. Must have been a shadow or something. All right. Oh yeah. We've got some nice pink things there. Or pink red things. There, they're quite nice. Then we've got the roses and then we've got some of these down here, nice purple things. Getting ready for spring, aren't we? I don't think they're roses because they're not those leaves. Well, getting ready for summer, really. Oh, look, they've got a red bark, red yeah. um, stem thing. Oh, look, there's a red one over there behind. That's red. a peony. Is it a peony? Yeah. That must be a peony. That could got some leaves. Yeah. This, how, how unusual to see a tree with red branches. Very strange, aren't they? You can see down there, look. Lovely. Oh, look at this. See, I've liked my garden to be full of these. Just the whole bottom end of the garden, just covered in these flowers here. Wouldn't that be lovely? Nice bumblebee down there. He's having a good old feast. So that's the end of the walled garden. Coming back to where we came in, we came in just up there. White daffodils. Oh, yeah. They are very delicate, aren't they? We get the camera to go down, have a look. 
quite small. Oh well, that looks like uh, nice orange leaves. Those lots of nice plants here. <clears throat> because we don't usually get that either, do we, when we come? No. In the winter. There's no smell. It won't be because there's no trees. No. So what are they? Well, they're delicate, aren't they? Tiny, aren't they? Let's have a look, see if I can catch that. There it is. Very delicate. Where are we going now? Oh well, but they do, and they grow into big horses. Oh. Well, you say that, adopt the pace of nature. Well, I watched the video yesterday where somebody had put a tiny skateboard under under a tortoise and this tortoise was uh, zooming about <laughs> yeah so obviously it's not by choice that the tortoise are slow just that they've got a huge great body to lung around uh, yeah the uh, <laughs> this on this little skateboard it was chasing a cat around somebody's living room or kitchen Yeah, somebody, somebody's doing some work there. <laughs> yeah, there used to be a bird table. Oh, yes, yeah. it's a picnic area now. Wow, oh, blimey, that's new. Let's have a quick look. We're not going to go in because we, we're gagging for a coffee. But yeah, the, the old, old Boston chased a squirrel <laughs> up onto the bird feeder because uh, he couldn't go up. He was on the lead. Oh yeah, there's a nesting box up there. Yeah, lovely. More carvings, what's it say? Nature is not a place to visit, it is home. Wild. More garlic, wild garlic growing? Smell it. Yeah, we must harvest it. I have to find out, yeah, I've got to find out what you've got to do with wild garlic to uh, maybe have it, have it with scrambled eggs in the morning for breakfast. Mm -mm. Garlic for breakfast? Garlic for breakfast? Are you mad? No, oh, I am. <laughs> Having garlic for breakfast. Mm. I don't think so. This lovely old wall here. Yeah. Here we are, back round to where we came in. Uh, up ahead is uh, the entrance. And uh, we'll walk back to the, the yay oldie clock tower calf. Music. Hope it's not copyrighted. Oh yeah. Well, of course, I don't know if you can make it out, but just over there is the sea. So we really are close to the sea. They're playing, playing live music in there. Almost like they're in time. Is it jazz? It's a saxophone. Mm. Is it sax with jazz? Is it? So. Uh huh. You're allowed in there. What's in there? It's the whole hole. You go around and have a look. Oh, they've been in there. No. 
I think I might have been the hospital. Well, I think coffee's calling more. Huh? There we are, there's the, uh, the clock tower. So we're going to have our coffee. So I'm going to shut the cameras down and say goodbye from Suaby Hall. Say goodbye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Right, see ya. Bye. There we go. Turn that off. That should turn that round. Oh, hips. Yeah. Don't we just go in? Where do you want to sit? Hey? Yeah. Do you want to sit further up? Hey? All right. What table are we going to sit at then? No. I'll have a look at this. We'll go for this one, shall we? 54. Unless there's someone turns up at 54. All the way around inside. Yeah. Oh. Raspberry coconut slice. Hello. Is that? Yeah, cappuccino. Uh, yeah, cappuccino for me. Cappuccinos, please. Are they a regular size? Uh, uh, do we do bigger size? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh huh. Yeah. I think I might go for uh, dime bar. Yeah. Yeah. We want that. For a fiver. No, uh, a piece of black cherry and a red almond slice, please. Whoops, thank you. Mm -hmm. Squeaking without you barting. <laughs> so I was just going to say to you, no, I'm not squeaking. 
Yeah. Yeah, off the end, wherever you want to go. Hey? Okay. Okay. Go off here there. Mm -hmm. It's going. Where are you going? Right, where do you want to go? On the round table? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. That's a magnolia tree, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Right, so I'm just going to get a picture of the magnolia tree before we go. Right behind me is a, a big magnolia tree out in full bloom. So I thought I'd get a picture of that bef before we leave. We actually got our coffees and we sat down at a picnic table. So we're just going to take a picture of this and then that's it. We're finished. So this is what you call a bonus footage at the end of our trip to Sewerby Hall in Bridlington, East Yorkshire. And then off.